We're outside the federal courthouse in South Boston for the long-awaited arraignment of Zohar Sanaev, the Boston Marathon suspect. Sanaev, 19, appeared in the public for the first time. He was wearing an orange prison jumpsuit. Uh, it was unbuttoned, uh, black underneath. Uh, he had a cast on his left hand. Uh, his face looked a, a little disfigured, uh, almost swollen, uh, not sure how, how to really characterize it. Now, this is the first time we're seeing Mr. Sanaev, 19 years old, uh, from Cambridge. Uh, he was arraigned on, on 30 uh, charges, more than 30 charges, including terrorism charges, charges that could have been could put him in prison um, for the rest of his life, or that even carry the death penalty. His lawyer had tried to answer for him, but Magistrate Bowler ordered that Sanaev respond himself. So seven times he pled not guilty to different groups of charges. He had a thick accent. Throughout the proceedings, he seemed a little bit indifferent, kind of out of it, out of the, aloof almost. Uh, he would be scratching his face, uh, looking behind him a little bit, uh, licking his lips. Uh, again, he. Um, it was it was hard for me to believe that he was he was sitting down there. Uh, it wasn't the same guy. He was a changed person, I guess. Why did you? The way he looked, the way he kept moving his body, his posture, and all that. and that's when he looked in her direction and throughout this very short hearing didn't last more than 10 minutes he continued repeated repeatedly looking back and smiling at the two women uh, now uh, he did have some signs of injuries the left side of his face uh, seems to have suffered some nerve damage he was wearing a cast his fingers were bent uh, but he really looked almost uninterested in what was going on around him he kept moving and fidgeting the judge was speaking to him he wasn't making any eye contact he kept sort of touching his his face and his neck and so uh, it was rather interesting that he really was almost he did was ignoring uh, the proceedings that were going on around him uh, he did enter a plea of not guilty repeatedly to the 30 charges against him uh, and what was interesting is he had a very thick Russian accent Uh, after the hearing, I spoke to a couple of his wrestling buddies from high school who'd shown up. They wanted to see uh, this guy who they'd known so well and thought was such a good guy. Uh, and they, they were really, really surprised because when they knew him, he had no sign of a Russian accent whatsoever. The reason they came is because they wanted to see whether there was any of the old Jahar uh, left. And the person they saw in that court, they said it wasn't him. Again, he has pleaded no guilty to 30 charges against him. Wolf, 19, 17 of those counts, excuse me, carry the death penalty. Wolf. And you say he looked physically, he looked physically okay, uh, strong, if you will, after the recovery from those injuries. Yeah, absolutely, he did. He, you know, he's much taller um, than I expected. He was uh, probably about six feet, maybe a little taller. Um, but again, it was his body language, it was his demeanor in that court. He was really not focused on the judge. He turned around, sort of looked back at some of the people who were uh, back sitting in the courtroom. But it was really uh, the two women who uh, are relatives, possibly sisters. It's, it's those two that he had the most interaction with. One of them actually had a small child, uh, and uh, that child was sort of fussing throughout the court proceedings. So, um Why'd you burp in my face? This is feet. You burped in my face. Burp Get out. No goat. Get out of my room. No room goat. Hey, I said get out. No goat. Get out. No. I said get out. No. Look at me. Get out. No goat. Look at me, I said. Get out. Oh, give me a kiss. No, give me a kiss. Atta girl. Now get out. No girl. Okay, okay, come here. Give me another kiss. Okay. Okay, now get out. No girl. <laughs>